what you're thinking. Yep. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get it over with. I said I'd do it. I'll do it. Okay. Ugh, robes. I hate this deck. But one has to acknowledge that it has gotten some awesome toys in uh, with the Mystical Archives, namely Memory Lapse and Brainstorm. Memory Lapse, God, this, this card is just made for it. I mean, you're playing a mill theme, put it on top of the library, mill it away. Just It's, it's, it's a match made in heaven. Thieves, Guild, Enforcer, you... Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> okay aside from that you know this i mean we've been terrorized by this deck in standard that's one of the reasons why a lot of people myself included are kind of straight away from standard although that might be more the yorion piles you run into over and over and over since i'm more of an aggro mindset it's just i'm not gonna say it's demoralizing but it's like pile of removal with an i win card in there not interested but back to the task at hand. This list, I, you know what? I didn't even bother changing it. Actually, no, that's not true. I did change one thing. This list comes from a, a tournament over the weekend. I think it got like seventh. Um, so if you want to look up the results of that, uh, Rakdos Arcanist. I think Raksak actually won it, but nah, I didn't look too much. There is another list. Uh, there's a, another list floating around that I think is pretty sweet. It's that Team of Prowess list. I may do it, but it requires more wild cards than I'm yeah, comfortable with committing. So task at hand stay focused this is how uninteresting rogues is i'm already talking about what i'd rather be playing so if you don't know you play rogues you mill your opponent you counter their stuff and you crush them you have into the story costing four mana for instant speed draw four because normally they have seven or more cards in their graveyards i'm not gonna lie i kind of hope i just get smashed i hope i go oh three so i never think about playing this deck again because god as far as the sideboard goes everything's pretty standard graph diggers cage ether gust dispute Got some clings for anti-graveyard negate tyrant scorn which is a fun one this is a fun one i usually only get to play this and um niv mizzet were born list but we get to play it here uh bounces a creature cover mana cost or excuse me bounces a creature or destroys a creature for, it's basically a smother and an unsummon smashed into one card quite good and then crippling fear is our sweeper of choice very good against uh pretty much most other aggro lists i kind of i i do wonder, and I'm not going to question this list because, like I said, it's straight from the tournament. But I do wonder if Languish is better. A lot of times against like Gruel, you run into some bigger things that are bigger than three three. But this should generally be good enough. So, I mean, that's the list. This is the most exciting thing ever. <laughs> Let's just go play some games. All right, <laughs> Funky Town. I love it. Love it. Okay, Mister Funky Town. Best of luck to you in this upcoming match because, well. Let's be honest here. I'm rooting for you. All right, we'll keep. I'm going to lead on this pathway into Thieves Guild Enforcer. Looks like we're dealing with probably cycling, which is going to make this very interesting. Let's pass it. Maybe not. Yeah, inspiring vantage. Ooh. Interesting. Let's let him scry first, then we'll go bye-bye scry. So we have a Jeskai Vehicles list. Oh, well, that's no fun. He didn't like either of them, so let's get rid of the next two as well. Heart of Quran, get rid of that's pretty sweet. Well, that's nice. It's all for us. But wait till next turn on the window abrics. We gotta hold up memory lapse. That way we can counter something and then just go poof, bye-bye. Yeah, like that. Poof, bye-bye. Is he going to attack? No blocks. Poof, bye-bye. Ooh, so he's got Magma Opus. What else he got going on here? Hmm, okay. Pop goes the weasel. How close are we? We are. I got seven. We got three cards away. This will get us one, so we need another rogue or something similar. Five cards in hand. Ugh, just do it. Just crush me. End of my life. Hmm. 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 I don't think so. Okay. Might have been psyched out there. You never know. All right. How many cards does he have? Four, five, six. No, nope, not enough. So I think all we're going to do here is... 
get in with this wind rubber. Mill away that strom. I should just go play the John Catacomb and pull over the Lurus. No reason to do anything crazy here. The Raven Inspector. Love that card. It's quite good. Yep. Is he getting in? Still only have five cards. We got two cards away. At this point, I was going to say I might just block with the Thieves Gun Enforcer, trade with the Motorist, and. How unexciting. One, two, three, four, play it. Can I get to it without it? I cannot. Hey, what, eight cards? Yeah. I could zap for one. That's up to six, seven, but we're still not to eight, so. I think all I'm going to do here is I'm going to play this on black. Go to combat here. Let's get in with the wind driver. Mill a card. Damn sure on the turn. There's no reason to do anything here. We don't want to walk into something like a counter spell. I mean. Hmm. Getting rid of lightning here looks pretty good. Almost there. Got a fatal push something this turn, and that looks like it's gonna be it. Gotta watch out for, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Metallic Rebuke. Let's get rid of that. I'm sensing that he's holding something, so we're gonna try to bait it out with an end of the story, end of turn. If this gets countered, that's fine, because never mind. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to continue to putter along here. Just going to hold up into the story. Mill another card. Pass the turn. This is rogues, man. It's just so fun. So fun. Doesn't everyone love rogues? So they have an inspector versus Merfolk Windrover. Who will win? Oh, that card's so good. Can I do anything about that? Well, we can try. See if he has that metallic rebuke. He does not. Holy cow. Yeah, it's fine. The good news is I can just sack the wind robber and then fatal push it, but, you know, we all know that. I just, I'm trying to figure out what he has in his hand. That's fine. Should get this guy out here for a little bit more damage. Yeah. So we are gonna have to sack the wind robber here, unfortunately. Yeah. Prior to blockers. Draw a card. Down the lock. That's a good one. Adios! It's called Revolt. I'm just gonna hold up. Sorry, thought they've been drawn in the lock. There's no reason to do anything else. Veteran Motorist. You got it. Scrime to the bottom, brother. Mm. Unless he wants this card to be milled, which appears to be the case. Yeah, let's start with a Soaring Thought Thief here. Let's see what he thinks about that. And then I don't see anything wrong with a Brainstorm, so we'll find out. Helixed. You got it. He is dead and gone. That's what he was holding. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a good Helix, but... Alright, let's see. Was there anything special? It looks like just dwarf equipment aggro. So, okay. I definitely want crippling fear. Liking tyrant scorn. What am I not liking here? Ether gust is an option, but it's not a very good one. 
I don't know. I like everything here. I guess I get to get rid of some of my discard. I guess I could trade out my Inquisition and my Thieves Guild Enforcer for just sweepers and removal. Oh, not that. You get to stay. You get to go. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't mention. So the one change I did make was I only have one Inquisition. I don't feel like buying more just yet, although it is on the list. So the original list did run a 2-2 split between Thoughtseize and Inquisition. I'm only doing a 3-1 for that obvious reason. I do think Thoughtseize is a stronger card, but in Rogues, it's very debatable which one's actually stronger here. Because Inquisition saves your life, which of course the deck can be a little slow getting started. But Thoughtseize is more versatile, so that one's up to you. But it was a 2-2 split in the original list. Um, I anticipate what here? What's gonna happen? What's he gonna bring in? Uh, he's probably gonna bring in Mystical Dispute. It's the most likely, I imagine. Or for our good dwarf aggro, Funky Town. <laughs> I do love the name. God, rogues. Ooh, well that's a mole. It's a pretty good one. Fetch out a uh, whatever and do it. <sighs> it's fine. We're gonna keep six. We're gonna ship back. <sighs> the end of the story is a long ways away. So I think I'm gonna do that. Hopefully, the between the thought thief and the tyrant scorn, we'll be able to turn these John and the locks on. I definitely use some fatal pushes, but man, eh, what are you gonna do, right? Can't have it all, mate. Can't have it all. Cool. Oh, the lure is duh. Dear. Oh, the Agadim's Awakening. But I only have one and I'm about to play it tapped. In fact, now I have no reason not to. Grafter's Cage! At least my opponent now knows he only has to deal with my threats once. Because I don't think I have any way to get rid of an artifact. Magda doesn't have it all. Let's pass. See what he does. Perhaps I should be doing things. Yeah. Oh, here comes the mystical dispute. Or something. Called it. So good at this game. Artifact or Dagron. Okay. I'm going to do that right now before my opponent untaps. Although, to be fair... Hmm. Yeah, sure. Is he holding another Mystical Dispute? Probably. Or a uh, Lightning Helix. Looks like Lightning Helix. He did. Got him. Draw. Okay. Play another blue source. Pass the turn. Now we're going to stare at each other for a while because I'm out of threats and my opponent's out of stuff to do as well. How many cards does he got? Three. Nice. Yep. <laughs> we're just playing Drago here. Why not? That's a good one. You can have him next turn. Thieves Guild Enforcer off the top. Let's go get an island. Untap. Hmm. Something's holding priority for my opponent. I'm going to guess it is another Helix. Yeah. Now, do we think it's a helix, or do we think it's a... Uh... I'm just going to continue with the lapse plan. So it's either a helix or a... Because uh, you see something's holding priority here. So I'm guessing it's lightning helix. <sighs> do I have enough black to do this? I do not. Not to stop everybody. All right, we'll wait a, next... we'll wait a turn then. Peace. 
Yeah, it's a helix. All right. We shall wait then. How long shall we wait? We can't get rid of... Yeah, there's nothing in here that gets rid of two graph diggers cages, right? So at this point, I guess I could just play the Lurus, counter the helix. Oh, it's not a helix. What is it then? <laughs> so it begins. Six turns to go. Brazen Outlaw. I'll just drown it. No reason not to. I was thinking about something tricky with Tyrant Scorn, because I do want to hit this heart of Kiran, but it'll wait. And, I mean, as much as I like threats, there's no reason right now to brainstorm. One thing that you will run into a lot. Ugh. Tell you what, let's just see what we have here. Oh, wait, now nah, that, that kind of has to be countered, doesn't it? Yep, 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 yep. Anyways, with brainstorm, one thing you will run into a lot is... Um, let's try to find a threat. If you don't need the cards, ugh, see now we're brainstorm locked for a while. If you don't need the cards, you just hold the brainstorm. I'm gonna start holding cards. No reason to start playing stuff. Actually, this one I will play tight, and we will pass. Eventually, three turns, he might find something. That works too. Okay. Show me what you got. This is it. Oh, nice. I can't stop them all. Hmm. Interesting. Finally. Hmm. Let's see how he feels about this. Negated. Sure. So that's what he's holding. Negate, eh? Sure. All right. Let's go to combat. See how he thinks about this. How many cards are you going to choose? Kind of depends on whether or not that last card is a counter spell. Nice. GG opponent. You did, you did, you did, and now this world. I know, dude. I hate rogues too, man. I feel you. I really do. Ugh, rogues. Ugh. All right. Marculia. Oh, boy. I'll be on the play. Yeah, this seems fine. Acceptable. No companion. He's mulliganing to death. Be a good time for an Inquisition. No one expects the Kozalek Inquisition! Oh, Gruel. Hmm. It's definitely going to be Bone Crusher Giant. He goes Land Thoughtseize or Pell Collector. Now, what do we do? Thoughtseize. It's easy one. The guy thought sees that scavenging who's next, and then all we're dealing with are those two, which shouldn't be too tough. But then again, Gruel does not strike me as an easy matchup. <sighs> Forest. Line of war. Got it. That's a good tough deck. Let's get that scavenging ooze out of there. Oof. Still. Let's go. Nice. Non land, I assume. Oh, that's a beating. Exactly what I did not want to see. 
kind of makes flashing in my thieves guild and force are kind of bad kind of very bad yep not gonna do it I'm just gonna play the Fable Passage. He stomps us end of turn, he untaps, he draws. If he draws a man source, he goes Pell Collector and do Giant. Yeah, we can't give him a target for this. He can just hit us with it, which is fine. But then I'll flash in the Thieves Guild Enforcer end of turn. Whoa! Well, that's good for us. He's going for it again. Going for land this time, I assume. Abundant Harvest seems pretty decent. Non land. Interesting. It would appear he has no interest in. Uh, no interest in doing this. Got it. We'll tie a crawler. Yeah. Kind of drawing the wrong half of our deck here, but who cares? This into uh nice. This into Wind Robber at least gives us into the story. is great and yeah, let's just go ahead and attack why not hopefully he trades I oh, didn't think so felt collector you got it mystery card and some good cards Am I going to take four here? Oh, it is trample. Never mind. Yeah, we're going to take four here. Ow. Interesting. Sure. Well, let's just get him with both. No reason not to. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just go for a draw four. If he finds another red source, we are in twiddle. Well, that's pretty good. I was to say, if he goes for the stomp, there's an interesting thought here. Do I want to fatal push my own Thieves Guild Enforcer to deprive him of the giant? He's still not going for it. That's interesting. What does he know? Is that I do not? What does he Oh, is that last card of Coco? That would suck. See you. Not attacking with the pelt collector. Let's just kill it. Mm -hmm. Pell Collector gets a witty bit bigger. There's the elf. Wait, we milled the elf. I didn't know that was an elf. Okay. He really doesn't want to do this. Which, again, is fine. Play the Fable Passage. Let's do this. I'm just going to keep coming, dude. Double block with the elves or something. Show me the stomp. Interesting. Sure. He's really trying to hold that. Oof, glad I hit that. He's really trying to hold that stomp for my Luris. And I'm just. I can do this all day. I can do this all day. Sure. Getting in for what? Two? Two it is. Ow. This is so weird. All right, stop with a brainstorm. Nice. Don't need you. Yeah. yeah. Now our stuff's just getting bigger. I mean, 
Is there any reason not to? Well, it would have been smarter to do it before. I missed out on a mill of two, but again, who cares? This doesn't normally come down to milling. He's still got 36 cards left, so... Yes, there would have been two more cards gone, and that was a punt. Kind of. All right. Let's get in there. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Oh, are you serious? Is there a train coming? Eh, I don't care. It's rogues. Who cares? You want to do it? Do it. Do it, Anakin. Do it. Block them with both. Double block. Got it. Bop, 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 bop. Down to three, and I'm going to mute this, because why not? I do think this is actually the literal definition of first world problems. I'm playing a deck that's so good, I'm winning, putting in very little effort, and I'm complaining about it. I'll be on the play. Yeah, sure. It's a little slow. But we got stuff to do. Time to do it. Got the combo. <laughs> a rogue and a memory lapse. That's the combo. Fatal Passage out of Swamps. This is a bit of a tricky one. one. It's like I'm um, playing the, I'm, the mono removal game cool. instead of the discard game. Maybe that's the right way to do it. We'll try this. Or we'll just... And then, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a train <sighs> passing, but the loud part's already gone. Apologies the if there's a little bit of again. a repetitious sound. Yeah. All right. What do you got? Come on, opponent. Show me what you got. Crap Crasher, Spellbreaker. That seems reasonable. Spellbreaker is we'll definitely keep it. more obnoxious of the two. And then we can yeah, thought Elf Collector. I thought it was going to be the Elf. Coco. Actually, now we can just memory lapse Coco. Oh, Let's just go. Depending on the next turn, I can thought seize away the Crop Crasher. If he plays this tapped, maybe. What did he draw? Mm. What did he top deck? He did not top deck. Oh, he top deck Elf Collector. So he's holding up Snow Blocks. Okay. Oh, I don't even need a thought seize, do I? But I am erasing this view. I would like to make a land drop. Uh, one, two. Worth it. Well, those are good ones to hit. If I brainstorm and I do not hit a land, I can at least thought see. Am I going to be blocking? Right, he's going to be stomping. Nah. I right, got thought sees. I'd like to commit another threat to the board next turn. Let's do this. Mm. Race is on. Mew. All right. All right, all right, yeah, all right. Sure. What do you got for me? Uh, it's going to be a no from me, dog. Problem is, we are still slightly landlocked. And he is winning this six. race. But not this turn. Boop. Right. <laughs> now we got Brainstorm. God, that's obnoxious. Tyrant Scorn, all that good jazz. Okay. Up. Well, now we shall see who shall win the race. Let's see what he's got. Phoenix of Ash. Mm. Ooh, baby. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have thought so he's that collective okay. company, but... Then memory lapse would be down. Should mm -hmm. I play the Thought Thief and block? Oh, Hopefully you don't fall victim to a giant growth Never. effect. But, you know, if I do, that's life. Okay, now I got the Thought Seize. Uh, now it seems like a good time for a Brainstorm. Sure. Not every day you get to kill a Pelt Collector with a Wind Robber. Alright, so what do we got here? Six, seven, eight, so we don't have to worry about playing it. See the other card is the land. Bye, Coco. <laughs> How close are we to being able to draw cards? We've got a ways to go. Mm, now the top of his library is alive and we're on stuff Tyrant to do. into the story. I don't need to commit the wound robber just yet. It's gonna be another Coco off the top. No. I'm gonna say no on this one. We'll see what he attacks with. Play the land I know about, and any threat here is going to suck. Sure. He's thinking about stuff here. Oh, brutal. 
brutal. I destroy it, but then it comes back. I mean, it's not threat, so. But yeah. also, yeah. Just gotta bounce it. All right, let's do it. Don't need to deal with that. Let's draw some cards. Restock. Have you even died yet? Nope. Pass. Ooh, what do you find? Nice. A land. Well, that's fortunate. He's got enough to do it too. All right. Opponent came prepared, it seems. Feel pretty confident when just pulling the go get and an holding up John this one, driver. Although we still just have wind robbers, don't we? Yep. Okay. But that's something. Can't be upset about wind robbers. I am wondering where the rest that of the That is a very interesting are. choice. Okay. He dead. Might as well get he him dead. for one. Be all dead. That's the worst okay. that could happen. <laughs> Why'd you target that? I don't know. Whatever. Call my oh, rogues. Of course I'm doing well with the rogues because it's rogues. See, it's a tier one deck, but God, it's aggravating. Be or not to be, that is the question. Well, there is no lotus up at the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Come on, dude. I know it's a very scary situation to be. I've been in the same thing, only I usually go just like that. Because at this point, he doesn't even know I have no threats, but who cares? He's got nothing going on. So let's try something similar to the last one. It worked out pretty well. Bring in Aether Gust, Crippling Fear, Tyrant Scorn. I'm gonna. We'll see if he has a similar plan as the other guy did. If he brings in a bunch of escape stuff, then Graft Digger's Cage can come in. But for now, I'm gonna. I'll play these. We'll get rid of these. God, I really like Inquisition, but I do think I have to get rid of it. And then two memory laps. And there we go. Yep. I would have thought Gruel would have been a pretty tough matchup. Oh, I mean, it, it does help that in our weakest moment, his deck was like, you look like you need more lands, but I do feel like this is not a good matchup despite how I made it look. But who knows? Who knows? Which player will play first, I wonder? Come on, opponent. I do not have all day, unfortunately. In fact, maybe running... Well, it'll be all right. Seems reasonable. Turn one play will cost me two life unless I want to brainstorm. Which I do not. Oof, brutal, but fair. Hmm. No. Pass. He's got the scoos. Might as well. Hmm, I'd like to kill everything. Is there a way to do it? Nah, eh, not yet. We'll just let him keep the scoos. How many cards does that make? Four? Good, we can stop a Coco. We can stop anything. Another one. Four, five, six. Mm. Mm. God, this is tough. So I'm gonna just do it. I even care about Gruel Spellbreaker at this point? I don't think so. Sure. Yep. Cool. Seven A. Eh? Seems like a good number to have. We'll just end the turn. No reason to do anything else. We can drown in the lock, thought thief, brainstorm. I mean, look at our hand. We don't have to do anything. We can double spell either way. 
Zertar Goblin. Sure. Goes with haste. Interesting. Okay. Boy, you're not going to like what's coming next. It's not quite lethal. It's only close. Here we are, opponent. Show me what you got. Okay. It doesn't have haste. It doesn't fly. I don't care. What else you got? Show me. Show me what you got. Are you just hard casting a Bone Crusher Giant? Yeah, I was going to say, you're dead. Oh, God. 3-0 and with this? It is really good. It is really good. Oh, The sad thing is, if I had more time, I would just keep playing because it is seemingly just that good. But, oh, gross. All right, we are back for the wrap-up. And, yes, it is as good as they say it is. It is as good as we know it is. It's quite good. It's just, God, this deck's aggravating to play against. It attacks on many different levels. I mean, you wouldn't think that these trio of creatures with lures backing them would be enough, but you just saw me take down back-to-back -back girl. Well, three pretty aggressive lists. I mean, Memory Lapse is next level on this list, or in this deck. You know, Morphok, Wind Robber, Indigo. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a mill plan. So this is, this is a counter spell for Codeless and a Blue. It's insane. This is a very powerful deck. It's definitely elevated to tier one with the with the uh, uh, with actually all three of these. Because if you do have the wild card available, I would do a two two split. Um, I think I saw someone over the weekend. Maybe it was Crokies playing all just all Inquisition again. If you have them, it's probably not the worst idea. I think I prefer the two and two split because there are things you want to thought seize that you can't Inquisition, but the life loss doesn't matter. And to be fair, Inquisition hits most of the things you care about. So. We didn't play many, much Control, but Control doesn't seem like the hardest matchup in the world since this deck's kind of designed to be the aggro control that can out-control and out-aggro. I don't know. I'm babbling. It's rogues. Ugh. It's rogues. It's good. If you like this style, you will love it. That is all for me, my friends. I'll see everybody later.